my boy always wets his bed thrice a week especially when the weather is very cool i mostly wake him up three times in in the night but before morning the bed will still be wet please what do i do it's a three-year-old mm -hmm. no um can we can we just cross check that again um i missed that yes um Okay, okay. No she, she didn't mention the okay. age. She actually said three times in the night. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, yeah bedwetting, um, depending on the age, mm -hmm. may be normal or abnormal. And then it's also abnormal if the child was dry and then now becomes wet. So a child may be so young that the child would wet the bed or there may be a problem if the child was dry, wasn't wetting the bed and all of a sudden begins to wet the bed. Because there is no age, mm. um, it may be just that the child is too young to be um, dry in the night, um, or it may be a problem. Now, what she can do is to start with behavioral management. For instance, when it's um, in the evening, say beyond six, the child should not drink fluids. Um, should have the evening meal early. Should not drink fluids. Should uh, sorry. Should not drink fluids. Should not drink uh, water, juice. Okay. Uh, late, close to bedtime is what I mean. Okay. So that is why um, the child needs to have the meal, the evening meal early. Because when you eat, sometimes you drink water, and then close to the evening meal, say from beyond six o'clock, the child shouldn't drink any fluids. That's assuming the child is going to bed around eight p.m., and then goes to use the washroom before going to bed. And then aside that, waking up is part of the training process. Mm. So she will need to wake the child up um, maybe once or twice to um, use the washroom mm. so that the child doesn't wet the bed. Okay. But if the child is still young, you know, some children, um, the children develop at different rates. So some children just developmentally are not ready to stop wetting the bed. So if it's a young child, then this child probably is not um, developmentally ready to wet the bed and... Um, it's a boy. We know that boys, um, they don't attain dryness at night as quickly as girls. So that's also oh, something okay. that will come into play. Okay. So it may be just the child is not developmentally ready. Mm. But if this child was dry and then it's now wet, like I'm saying, that's a problem. It can be a urinary tract infection. It can be that the child is reacting to certain stresses in the house. In fact, it can also be abused. So it's a different story if the child was dry and it's now okay. uh, wet, mm. or if the child was not dry at all, and also depending on the age of the mm. child. Okay, uh, but she also mentioned something about the weather, especially when it's cool. Does, does that have anything to play, especially with the behavioral uh, aspect you were talking about? I think when it's cool, you see, for you to wake up and um, use the washroom, you need to wake up. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And you know, when the weather is cool, a lot of us tend to sleep a bit deeper. So it's more difficult to wake up when the weather is cool than if um, the weather isn't cool. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe why um, All right. this is happening.